Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my mommy and we're going to be doing yoga video. So my mom's a yoga teacher and she teaches at Choose Fitness and 24 Hour Fitness. So if you guys are in San Diego, when this is over, hit her up. <laughs> but since we can't do anything and you guys can't go to the gym, we're gonna bring the gym to you. Hi guys, Mary the Artful Yogi here with my daughter Harmony. We're gonna do a 20 minute level two vinyasa flow. I hope you enjoy. Okay, come to the top of your mat. Okay, feet either all the way together or just a little bit apart. Palms face the front, roll the shoulders back. Chin parallel with the mat is gonna keep our head and neck in line. Close your eyes. Okay, just start to come into your breath here. Feel your feet on the mat. And then let's float the eyes open. Inhale, the arms up overhead. Touch the palms, watch them touch. Feel that leg through all four sides of the body. And then exhale, pull your hands through your heart. Forward fold as you release, head and neck dangle. You can keep a bend in your knees if that feels better in your lower back or hamstrings. Even all the way through the practice, you could keep that bend. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, yogi's choice for hands. So maybe your hands are on your shins or your knees. Maybe they touch the ground or dangle down. It doesn't matter, but we want to have a flat back and use the core to strengthen the back. And then exhale, fold forward. Big inhale, root to rise, come all the way up. This time I want you to interlace all the fingers except for the thumb and forefinger. Biceps back by the ears, big inhale. Exhale, off to the right. So the fingertips point towards the right side of the room, really root through the left foot. And inhale, come back up overhead. And exhale, off to the left. Feel that stretch all the way down the right side body. Keep looking towards the front of the room. Inhale, back up overhead. Exhale, pull your hands through forward, fold as you release. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant the palms, step to your plank. Shoulders line up over the wrists, belly button up and in. Let's keep looking at the top of your mat, pitch forward onto your toes, drop now to the knees, and then the chest, and then the chin. Use your tuck toes to scoot the body forward and flat. Tops of the feet come to the mat, keep your hands where they are. If they're underneath the shoulders, let's come up for baby cobra, okay, a small movement and then release the chest back down. Let's scoot the hands back so the elbows are directly over the wrists. Big inhale, either bigger cobra or straighten the arms all the way up. The thighs leave the mat, that's upward dog. And then for this first one, let's drop down to the knees. Sit the hips to the heels. This is extended child's pose. Tuck the toes, hips high, down dog. Okay, first down dog of class. Pedal out the feet, bend one knee and then the other. Nod your head, yes, shake it, no. No stress or tension held here, guys. Press into that L shape made by the thumb and forefingers to take some pressure out of the wrists. Okay, let's measure our down dog. So shift forward to your high plank position. Okay, this is a position we come back to again and again in vinyasa yoga, so wanna make friends with this position. So let's make sure we're not letting the hips drop. That's hard on the low back. Make sure you're not letting the chest drop, okay? So slight rounding through the upper back, looking up towards the top of your mat, slight tuck of the tailbone, with your hands and feet in that same place, hips up and back, down dog. And then big toes together. Come up high to the toes, bend the knees, sit the hips to the heels, look up to the top of the mat and either step or float to the top. Nice halfway lift, flat back, exhale, fold. Big inhale, root to rise, come all the way up. This time, let's take that right hand down the right thigh, reach the left arm up and over. So as I slide my right fingertips down towards the outside of my right knee, the left hand reaches towards the right hand, right side of the room. Inhale, back up overhead, palms face one another. And exhale, the left hand down the left thigh, the right arm reaches up and over. So sneak those left fingertips down towards the outside of that left knee, guys. Inhale, back up overhead. Exhale, hands pull through, forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fingertip to the mat. Step the right foot to the back of the mat. Drop to the back knee. Uncurl the back toes. Inhale, the arms up on Johnny Asana. Low lunge, palms face one another. Thumbs coming towards the wall behind you. Bring your weight into this front heel, guys. That's going to make that front glute fire up and do some work. Inhale here. Exhale, hands to the mat. Plant the palms. Tuck the back toes. Step to down dog. Keeping your body in down dog shape. Let's bend the right knee. Pull that thigh tightly into the chest. Pull the heel in towards the butt. Rock the shoulders over the wrist and step that right foot to the top. Sometimes you gotta use your hand to get that bad boy up there. Okay, drop to the back knee. Uncurl the back toes, inhale the arms up on Johnny Austin, a low lunge, big inhale. And exhale, fingertips to the mat. Tuck the back toes, step forward. Root to rise, all the way up. And hands pull through all the way down. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fingertips to the mat. Step the left foot to the back of the mat. Keep that right knee lined up over the right ankle. Drop to the back knee. Uncurl the back toes. Inhale the arms up. On Johnny Austin, a low lunge. Big inhale. Exhale. Hands to the mat. Tuck the back toes. Step to down dog. Keeping your body in down dog shape. Bend that left knee. Pull the thigh into the chest. Pull the heel in towards the butt. Rock the shoulders over the wrist and step that left foot to the top. Drop to the back knee. Uncurl the back toes. Inhale the arms up. On Johnny Austin, a low lunge. Big inhale. Exhale. Fingertips to the mat. Tuck the back toes. Step forward. Let's root to rise. Come all the way up. And hands to the heart. Pause here and close your eyes. Okay, so even with just that small little bit of movement, you can feel the heat building. The breath gets a little bit more choppy. We want to smooth out the breath. We want to take that part out for sure. <laughs> okay, so use the breath to regulate. Okay, float the eyes open, palms to the front. Inhale the arms overhead. Exhale, pull your hands through. Bend the knees, come into your chair. Let's bring the hands to shoulder level at first, guys. Sit the hips way back. Look down, can you see all 10 toes? If you can, pick them up and wiggle them. If you can't, scoot your butt back more so you can. And then if it's okay with your body, reach the arms high. Okay, chair pose, definitely everyone's favorite chair pose. Here for three and two. Yeah, and one, hands gather, legs straight and forward, fold. Halfway lift now, flat back, yogi's choice for hands. And then let's plant the palms and step to your high plank. Okay, shoulders line up over the wrist, belly button up and in. Let's all do the modified version at first. So keep looking up to the top of your mat, pitch forward, drop to the knees, and then the chest, and then the chin. So the butt sticks up. Use your tucked toes to scoot the body forward and flat. Tops of the feet come to the mat, and depending on where you have your hands, you can either go to your cobra or all the way to upward dog. And then option drop to the knees, hips to the heels, tuck the toes, hips high, down dog. Yogi's pulling your right landing gear. Okay, so thigh into the chest, heel in towards the butt. Rock the shoulders over the wrist, step that right foot to the top. Back heel is gonna pin down for warrior one. So my back toes are gonna be pointed at the upper left corner of the mat. Bring your hands to your hips at first to come up. Let's set up our warrior one, okay? So I wanna try to let my left hip come around and my left ribs come around. So maybe that means I sneak that right foot over a little bit more so I'm not so much on a tightrope. And then inhale the arms up. Warrior one, okay? Big inhale here. Exhale, bring the hands to the mat, plant the palms, step it to down dog. Head and neck angle. Pull the left landing gear in. Rock the shoulders over the wrist, step that left foot to the top. Back heel pins down, set up warrior one. Those back toes point at the upper right corner of my mat now. Let's bring the hands to the hips to come up. Okay, so the front knee is bent. 
the back leg is straight. I'm trying to let my right hip and chest come around. And then inhale the arms up. This is warrior one. Big inhale here. Exhale, bring your hands to the mat. Plant the palms, step to down dog. Shift forward to your high plank, yogis. Okay, you always have choices. You're not letting your head drop. You're looking up towards the top of your mat. You can go straight to down dog. You can do knees, chest, chin. If you're working chaturanga, pitch forward. Bend the elbows, come halfway down and hold. Inhale the upward dog or cobra. An option to just roll up and over the toes. Downward dog. Okay, yogis, gaze forward, step or float to the top. When you're floating to the top, the most important part is to look at where you want to land. Okay, start it in chair, end in chair. Straighten the legs, hands to the heart. Pause here, close your eyes. So in our practice, we use the postures to kick up the energy, to kick up the prana, to kick up the heat, and then we use the breath to regulate. Okay, so notice your breath. Use your breath as the anchor to attach yourself into this moment. Okay, float the eyes open, palms to the front. Inhale the arms overhead. Exhale the hands, pull through. Bend the knees, come into your chair. Okay, big inhale here. Exhale, right arm drops, open twist. Both palms face the right. Notice that this left knee wanna poke forward, don't let him, okay? Both knees bent deep, both knees in one line. Palms face the wall that you're facing. Inhale, back to your chair. Exhale, left arm drops, open twist. Both palms face the left. Keep those knees in one line, sit low. Inhale, back up overhead. Exhale, hands gather, legs straighten forward, fold. Let's bend the knees again. Come into your chair. Okay, big inhale here. And exhale, hands to the heart. Let's take the left elbow to the outside of the right thigh. So as I press down on my left hand with my right hand, I'm revolving myself around. Okay, pulling the belly button towards the back of your shirt. Yogis look down at that right big toe. Left foot becomes light. I'm gonna step it to the back. Revolved crescent lunge, okay? Parivrita Anjaniasana. Press down on the left hand with the right hand. Fire up that back leg here, guys, like you're gonna to touch the ceiling with the back of that thigh. Nice. One more big inhale here. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step the right foot back to meet the left. We're in our high plank pose. Option, go straight to down dog or knees, chest, chin, or pitch forward, chaturanga dandasana. Don't let the shoulders go below the plane of the elbows. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog, breathe here. Okay, usually it's a good time here to check in with how much your mind wanders, right? We're always thinking about what went on before or what's going on later, but when you're here on your mat, notice that steady barrage of thoughts and then bring your attention back to your breath. Because even though our mind wanders, our body can only be right here, right now. So use your breath as the bridge to attach your mind to your body and thus to the present moment. Okay, yogis gaze forward, come up high to the toes, bend the knees, sit the hips to the heels and either step or float to the top. Root to rise, all the way up. Hands to the heart, pause here, close your eyes. Okay, use the breath to regulate. Okay, float the eyes open, palms to the front. Let's do the other side. Inhale the arms overhead. Exhale, pull your hands through, forward fold. Bend the knees, come into your chair. Okay, sitting low, reaching high, big inhale here. Exhale, left arm drops, open twist. That right knee wants to poke forward, don't let him. Inhale back to center. 
exhale, right arm drops open, twist. Inhale, back to center, sit low. Exhale, hands gather, legs straighten forward, fold as you release. You like chair pose, huh, Har? Mm -hmm. Bend the knees, come into your chair. Sit low, toes are light, big inhale. Exhale, hands to the heart, right elbow, left thigh, twist. So as I press down on my right hand with my left hand, I'm revolving myself around. Pull your belly button towards the back of your shirt. You always look down at that left big toe. Right foot becomes light. I'm gonna pop that right foot to the back of the mat. Okay, so fire up that back leg here. You can look down or straight ahead or up if you've got it that way, but we really wanna power up that back leg here. Bring your weight into that front heel to make that front glute do some work. Okay, one more big inhale here. And exhale, let's unravel. Plant the palms, step it to down dog. Shift forward to your high plank. And either knees, chest, chin, or pitch forward, chaturanga halfway down and hold, glue those elbows in. Inhale the upward diver cobra. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog. Yogi's inhale, the right leg high. Look back at that leg. The knee points down, the toes point down. That squares the hips. And now bend that knee and stack the right hip on top of the left. Notice how all your weight wants to dump into that left hand. Let's try to even it out. Inhale, the re-extend and square. Knee to nose, curl it in. Shoulders over the wrist. Step that right foot to the top, knee over ankle. Okay, keep popped up onto the back toes. Let's inhale, come on up for crescent lunge. Palms face one another, thumbs coming towards the wall behind you. Big inhale here. Exhale, open it up to warrior two. Okay, nice. Front knee is bent deep. This back leg is straight. I can look down and draw a line from my front heel to my back arch. I'm exaggerating the opening of this front knee towards the pinky toe side of that front foot. Strong action through the arms. Breathing here. Imagine if there was a scale under each of your feet, they would register the same weight, okay? Legs stay the same here. Big inhale, reverse your warrior. And on the exhale, let's straighten that front leg. Now we're in reverse, trikonasana. Keep the legs straight here, guys. Reach up and over, up and over, up and over, trikonasana. Left arm high. Right arm active. Okay, so reach towards the ceiling with that left hand. Nice. Beautiful, guys. Bend that front knee once again. Big inhale to reverse your warrior. And on the exhale, let's cartwheel the hands. Plant the palms, don't step it back. Pop up onto the back toes. Left palm next to the right foot. Right arm high to the sky. Nice, bring that right hand back to the mat. Let's step the right foot back to meet the left. Strong in your plank, you have options. You can go straight to down dog. You can go knees, chest, chin. You can go chaturanga. Fun to do, fun to say. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. And exhale, hips up and back down dog. Yogi's inhale, the left leg high. Look back at that leg, guys. The knee points down, the toes point down. That squares the hips. And then bend the knee and open up the hips. So we're gonna stack that left hip on top of the right. Your head and neck are dangling. Dangle, dangle, dangle with the head and neck. Yep. Re-extend and square. Knee to nose, curl it in. Come up high to those right toes. Step that left foot to the top. Doesn't matter how you get it up there. Inhale to crescent lunge, reaching up or sinking low, and sinking low rather. And then yogis open it up to warrior two. Okay, front knee bent deep, back leg straight. I can draw a line from my front heel to my back arch. Exaggerate the opening of the front knee towards the pinky toe side of that front foot, get low. If there was a scale under each of my feet, they would register the same weight. Okay, legs stay the same, big inhale to reverse your warrior. And then straighten that front leg. We're in reverse trikonasana. 
Legs stay the same, reach up and over, up and over, up and over. Trikonasana. This upper palm faces the same direction that your face is. Okay, so you want to have a strong hand on this lower leg so we can open up here. Yogi's bend that front knee again. Big inhale to reverse your warrior. And on the exhale, let's cartwheel the hands. Plant the palms, don't step it back. Pop up onto the back toes. Right palm next to the left foot. Left arm high to the sky. Nice, bring that left hand back to the mat. And step the left foot back to the right. Either knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale the upward dog or cobra. And exhale, hips up and back. Down, knock, down dog, nice. Let's bring the big toes to touch. Melt the knees to the mat. Melt the hips to the heels. Melt the forehead to the floor. Child's pose. Take a break. All right, yogis, let's come on up. Let's do a small Vashistasana flow, and we'll do some balancing poses, and then we'll take this party down to the floor. What do you think? Yeah, all right. Okay, so come to your plank. Shoulders lined up over the wrists. That's our strongest way to be here. The left hand is gonna be our base at first, so let's drop down to that left knee, directly under the left hip. Open that foot off the mat like a gate. Bring the right arm high. Vashistasana. Maybe you float that right foot if you want. And then the right hand comes back to the mat underneath its shoulder. Let's pop back up to our wide-legged plank. Okay, right hand will be our base. Now let's drop to that right knee. Open that foot off the mat like a gate. Bring the left arm high. A big inhale here. And exhale. Bring the left hand back to the mat underneath its shoulder. Let's pop back up to our wide-legged plank. Okay. Now, we're gonna roll through that again. And you can either drop to the knee if that feels better or you can stay up off the knees. The left hand will be our base. So either drop to that knee or both heels to the left, right arm high, full vashistasana, side plank. And then the right hand comes back to the mat under its shoulder, pop it back up into your wide-legged plank. Last time, right hand is our base. Option to drop to that knee or both heels to the right. Left arm high, vashistasana. Nice left hand back to the mat, hips up and back, down dog. Nice, let's gaze forward, step or float to the top. Root to rise, come all the way up. And hands to the heart. Okay, let's play with our tree pose. So weight into the right foot, left foot to the ankle maybe to the calf, or all the way up into the thigh. You want to make sure to pick a spot on that standing leg that's not the knee, because you don't want to push sideways against that knee joint. Mind a spot in front of you that doesn't move, that's going to be your drishti. And then yogis grow your treat, however you want. Nice, hands come back to the heart. Keep the legs as they are. Pivot the upper body towards the left. And then an option to open those arms to the front and back of the room. Nice. Yeah, right? Bring your hands back to the heart. Square yourself to the front. Pull this left thigh in. Circle that ankle. And drop it down. Shake it out. Okay, hands to the heart. Left foot takes the weight. Okay, left foot takes the weight, right foot to the ankle or the calf. Pull that right thigh in, or that right foot into the left thigh. Okay, mind your drishti, that's that spot that doesn't move. And then inhale to grow your tree, however you want.
Nice hands come back to the heart. Let's keep the lower body as it is. Pivot the upper body towards the right. And then an option to open those arms to the front and back of the room. Okay, hands back to the heart. Square your upper body to the front. Pull this right thigh in. Circle that ankle. And then drop that foot down. Beautiful. Palms to the front. Inhale the arms overhead. Exhale, open arms, open heart. Let's inhale it back up overhead. Pull your hands through your heart. Forward fold. Yogis, bend the knees deep till your chest lays on your thighs. And then go ahead and release it down to your hips. Okay, shaking it out. Keep the left leg straight. Step the right foot over to the outside of the left knee. Right hand to the mat behind you. Inhale the left arm up. And exhale, left elbow to the outside of the right thigh. So pressing into my right fingertips to upright myself. I want a line of energy from the crown of the head all the way through the tailbone. Pressing that left tricep into that right knee and at the same time pressing that right knee into the left tricep. Inhale to grow and exhale to twist. Another big effort, inhale. And exhale, we got one more. Big inhale. And on this exhale, let's unravel and counter twist. Bring your chest through, yeah. Nice, and then both feet to the front, shake it out. Okay, let's keep the right leg straight, step the left foot over to the outside of the right knee. Left fingertips to the mat behind you. Inhale the arm high, the right arm high. And then bend that elbow, exhale, right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Press that right tricep into the left knee at the same time, pressing that knee against the tricep, nice. A big line of energy from the crown of the head to the tailbone. Inhale, fill it up. And exhale, maybe peek over that left shoulder because your twist is gonna follow your gaze. Big effort, inhale. And exhale, twist. Wait, one more big inhale. And on this exhale, let's unravel and counter twist. Here, bring both feet to the front, palms face the ceiling, and let's roll it back. Vertebrae, five vertebrae, five vertebrae. Shavasana. our first trial of this. <laughs> well, if you guys have any suggestions or if you guys take my mom's class and you want her to do like a specific kind of class or like more of like a workout style, let us know and we'll do that because we have nothing but time. <laughs> Thanks guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel for more videos and let me know if you guys want more fitness and yoga videos. Today's shout out goes to I, of course, I picked one with the hardest name. I can't even, how do you say that? Sina Shibu. Hopefully, I said that right. She's from India, so it's like a different name. But shout out to you. Thank you for watching my videos. And if you guys want a notification shout out, just comment on this video and you guys will get it in my next one. Look at, see, if I didn't have makeup on, you wouldn't be able to see my highlight, mom. <laughs> <laughs> my mom was making fun of me because look at my yoga mat. <laughs> That's my face. <laughs> it's like the Shroud of Turin. <laughs> like if I put my whole face on it, it would be like a mark. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, okay, we'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, namaste. Namaste safe. And stay at home. <laughs> and don't cough. <laughs>